What is up everybody? I'm Moritz and I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and super often I do get asked by my clients how it is possible to integrate before and after images with an effect like this or this one. And often that is perfect for me because it does mean business. But in reality, I don't really have to charge my $100 an hour. You can do it all yourself and I'm going to show you how it's done. Because the only thing you're going to need is an app called Section Store. You can easily find that in the Shopify App Store. And there, just look for before and after image 5. That is the one we're going to be focusing on today. And like I said, instead of paying hundreds of dollars for overpriced developers like me, for example, <laughs> you can easily get this one for a one-time fee of $9.00 and you can customize it to your likings as well. So you can see right here, then after getting the section, simply head on over to the My Sections area of the app, where you will be able to find a collection of all the sections you are already owning. And like I said, this is the one we will be focusing on today. Add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme. It does work on every theme though. So don't worry about that neither. Open it up in the theme editor right here. Yeah, here we are. And there, just click on add section, type in before, after, and it is the before and after five. There are a couple more which do come with the app. Just have a look for yourself. But I want to show you this one today. And like I said already, you do have an uh, image on the left and the right here. And I want to show you what is possible with the app. You can decide all the alignments of the elements inside the app. So for that header, I'm just going to get rid of that for a sec. Yeah, there we go. And um, yeah, if you click on the main thing itself, you can see you can change all the font sizes, the text right here. You can decide the line height. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. And as you can see right here already, the effect is working. That's just a little default, which is showing right now. Always make sure to save it up so you don't run into any unnecessary visually errors. So here we should be able to scroll it now. Yeah, perfect. That looks fine. And if we scroll down even more, we can decide which image is going to be on the left side. So I want to have this one. That's a little one I prepared. And then I want to have another one on the right side, which is going to be this one. And of course, we have to save it up again. And after we did that, we should be able to see how it is going to look like. If you don't add an optional mobile image, you can do that as well. So if you want to optimize it for mobile specifically, that is possible too, but if you don't do that, it's just going to pick the image you already took for the desktop version. Here you can decide the ratio of the image, if it's actually going to be a circle cursor or not. And yeah, a bunch of other things you can do to the whole thing. You can even decide if it's going to have rounded corners or not. You can see that already. And if I save it all up, so yeah, that is the wrong one. That's one I prepared already. Yeah, if you save it all up, you can see it is working perfectly fine. And if you change the colors as well, I'm just going to get rid of that. It could look something like this. I put maybe like two or three more minutes of work into that. But here I changed the headline colors, the icon colors. And if you optimize it all, this is what it could look like. If you put in a bit more time, I'm sure you can make it absolutely stunning. But I do think that one looks pretty nice already. Let's have a final look at it in the live version. And then we can pretty much round it up already. Yeah, this is looking really fine. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.